All right, let's take a look at the block bench and see what it can do. It's simple to craft on the standard workbench, requiring just 48 lumber. Click the craft object button and we're all done. Now let's take a look inside and see what we've got. Right off the bat we see on the left a list of textures we can choose from. And what a list! It starts with 21 categories of materials. Each material then has multiple textures. Before this release I counted 189 total textures. There's no way we can examine all of them in detail in this video, so I'll just flip through them quickly so you can at least get a glimpse of the variety that's available. It's a truly unbelievable selection. Now they've done something really nice to help you out when you're working on a project that requires crafting a small group of favorite textures over and over. At the upper right corner of the crafting box, we see a small star that lights up when we hover it over. It will say add to favorites or remove from favorites, depending on what you have selected on the left. Once you have added at least one texture to your favorites, you will see a new category in the list named favorites. You can then select from this list instead of going through the entire collection each time. It's a real time saver. The rotating figure on the right is the current texture in one of 15 shapes. You can see the other shapes by clicking the left or right arrow buttons. We start with a standard block, the half block, cylinder, half cylinder, ramp, arc, stair, that's the standard stair, then they have variation one of the stairs, and another variation. We have stair corners, and an inner stair corner, a ramp corner, and a ramp half corner. There's also a ramp inner corner. And lastly, a pyramid. Shapes are a crucial part of building, so we'll take a closer look at each one. The simple block is the most basic shape. Note that you can hold down the left mouse button and drag a line of the blocks where you want them to go. Continue to hold down the left mouse button and then click the right mouse button to place them. This makes quick work of placing floors, walls, and ceilings. And yes, I used a little movie magic to speed that up. A half block can be placed as a lower block, an upper block, or even a middle block. Use your keyboard up and down arrow keys to guide the block placement. Cylinders can add a really nice effect to your build. They can be placed vertically or horizontally. And if you can't afford a whole cylinder, they offer half cylinders too. With a combination of cylinders and half blocks, I was really pleased with how this pier came out the day we got water. The ramp, or wedgie as I call it, has many uses. It does indeed work as a ramp and it makes fine roofs too. The arc is one quarter of a circle. Use it to round off corners, make an archway, or even a circular window. There are three versions of the stairs block. One is the standard stair, and the other two are variations, at least on the underside. Note that the standard stairs can be rotated vertically or horizontally, while the variations can only rotate horizontally.
Standard stairs can be joined at right angles by means of stair corner blocks. There is one for outside bends, and another for inside. Corner blocks can be rotated horizontally and vertically. Ramps have their own version of corner blocks, and by themselves are a little hard to recognize. One has two right angle sides, plus two sloped sides. The other also has two right angle sides, but only one sloped side. Let's finish off this roof to see how they work. If not the lowest section of corner, we must use the four-sided corner block. For the lowest corner, we can use either one, depending on the look you prefer. The four-sided corner produces a square corner finish. The three-sided one makes a 45-degree junction, maybe suitable for an octagonal cabana or gazebo. It's up to you. There's also an inner ramp corner, which can be useful where two sloped roofs come together at right angles. This produces a very tidy junction that gives both roofs a nice look. The last shape is simply called a pyramid. We'll end the video here, since I think we have now made our point. See what I did there? Pyramid, point.